<laughs> Let me ask you this. Everything that you're saying, there, sure. to be clear, we're not abandoning, are we, existing models about how galaxies form and evolve yet, right? Well, we, we, might, ha we might have to. Ah. Yeah, th but that's okay. That's, that's okay. not a bad right. day. That's a great day for science. You will be surprised to know that in just two years of operation, the James Webb Telescope has challenged our basic understanding of the universe. The new discoveries of the Webb Telescope have created a serious controversy among astronomers. Scientists are finding unexpected things in the Webb Telescope's deep field images. Well, over the past few weeks, you've been introduced to several unprecedented discoveries by the Webb Telescope that show how the most distant galaxies form just a few billion years after the Big Bang are breaking our standard cosmological models. Fueling the ongoing discussions about extraordinary findings, the James Webb Telescope again discovered something immensely significant in the early universe. This groundbreaking discovery has completely upended our understanding of how our universe began. It says that the universe has an ancestor, which is another universe. How is the universe born from the ancestor? Consider this. According to our standard cosmological model, the universe as we know it came into existence about 14 billion years ago. Before that, there was nothing. The Big Bang is defined as the singularity, the moment in time when the scale factor goes to zero. Okay, but when you include the theory of inflation, it gets a bit murky. Because some physicists say that inflation happened before the Big Bang. As an example, in the primordial density perturbation by Life and Little, they define the Big Bang as the beginning of the era of attractive gravity after inflation. However, modern cosmology by Dodelson defines the Big Bang as coming before inflation. Furthermore, several recent discoveries in the early universe suggest that the Big Bang may not have been the beginning of our universe. Because astronomers using the James Webb Telescope have found distant galaxies that seem older than the Big Bang within our standard understanding of the universe's beginnings. All these findings suggest that something strange happened before the Big Bang. On the other hand, a new shocking discovery from the Webb Telescope hinted that a strange universe existed before the Big Bang. Recently, scientists discovered many ancient supermassive black holes, which poses a major challenge for astrophysicists. One of these black holes is so strange that our theories completely fail to explain it. And scientists are claiming that this black hole may have formed before the Big Bang. In a paper published in Nature Astronomy, scientists reported the discovery of an ancient supermassive black hole, one that existed very early in life of the universe. While some enthusiasts have claimed that, the observation of these gigantic black holes has disproved the theory of the Big Bang. Our standard cosmological model, which is based entirely on observations and our physics theories, predicts that in the early universe, black holes were formed from the remains of massive stars. When these stars ran out of nuclear fuel, gravity caused their cores to collapse, creating incredibly dense objects called black holes. However, observations from the Webb Telescope have unveiled a more diverse cosmic group. It has discovered a number of black holes that do not fit neatly into the expected story of stellar collapse. Some are surprisingly massive, challenging traditional views of stellar evolution. Astronomers were surprised when they found that the mass of this strange black hole at the center of the ancient galaxy was about the same as the total mass of the stars in that same galaxy. To put this into perspective, the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way is only about 0.1% the mass of the entire galaxy. Given that this ancient supermassive black hole formed so quickly after the universe began, it cannot have been created by the collapse of stars and merging of stellar mass black holes. Instead, another mechanism is required. Sophisticated simulations have shown that early in the history of the universe, 
It is possible for giant clouds of gas to have collapsed directly into very large black holes, ones with masses about 100,000 times that of the Sun. But the James Webb Telescope found other such ancient supermassive black holes at the very edge of our observable universe, which indicates that the direct collapse of dust clouds in the early universe would not be enough to explain this mystery. But wait, scientists at the Kavli Institute for Physics and Mathematics of the Universe have made a surprising finding that indicates that these black holes may have formed in a baby universe. One exciting possibility is that primordial black holes could form from the baby universes created during inflation, a period of rapid expansion that is believed to be responsible for seeding the structures we observe today, such as galaxies and clusters of galaxies. During inflation, baby universes can branch off of our universe. A small baby or daughter universe would eventually collapse, but the large amount of energy released in the small volume causes a black hole to form. In simple words, it says that before the Big Bang, baby universes collided with our universe, and these collisions created primordial black holes in the early universe. Here is a proof that supports this claim. Approximately 10 years, Nobel laureate Dr. Roger Penrose has been touting extremely dubious claims that the universe displays evidence of a variety of features that are consistent with our universe colliding with and being bruised by whatever occurred prior to the Big Bang. This theory completely explains how supermassive black holes formed in the early universe. Primordial black holes could be responsible for some of the observed gravitational wave signals and seed supermassive black holes found in the center of early galaxies discovered by the James Webb Telescope. In addition to this, the team hypothesized that primordial black holes could also play a role in the synthesis of heavy elements. This theory could explain the unexpected heavy elements that observed in Webb Telescope's early galaxies. So these new web discoveries suggest that primordial black holes were created by the collision of baby universes with our own. This primordial black hole theories perfectly explain the unexpected discoveries of the James Webb Telescope. So, is our standard cosmological model wrong after all? You discover something new, it doesn't create a problem so much as it creates excitement a new understanding of the universe. We delight in this. It's not like we're all sitting back with our legs up on the table saying, basking in the knowledge of the universe that we have command over. No, we are always at the drawing board. And to people say, scientists will have to go back to the drawing board, we're always there. If you're an active research scientist, that's where you live. And you, you are befuddled daily. Plus, of course, the universe brims with mysteries. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for your time and don't forget to comment your thoughts about this theory.